Come here. Come on. Hop. Hop. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, Joe. Thinking about Joe Biden telling that handicapped person to stand up. Stand up, Chuck. Let him see you. Oh, God. That was before any of you guys uh, were born. All right, he's going to go so I can finish this video. How's it going, everybody? It's me, Kevin. It's been a while. Just been busy. Life's been busy, you know? Is that what you guys need? You need some sort of explanation as to why it's been a while. I've gotten a few messages, though. I'm, I've been sl sneaking around, slinking around, if you will, on the internet. Uh, even, even when I'm not making content, I'm consuming content nonstop. Non a few people had messaged me and they were like, Hey, Kevin, are you going to talk about The Forge? Jordy LaForge? Well, sure, though I don't really talk about... Uh, Star Trek that often, but uh, I could definitely give it a try and they're like no Kevin That's what are you talking about? I'm talking about the latest Kendrick Brothers movie and apparently a few months ago or a month three months ago It looks like a uh, trailer for the movie came out. I didn't know much about it. I've just been out of it I've been out of the the Christian movie scene. I don't know. I feel a little bit like is anybody making any movies? And then I realized well, I guess if the Kendrick Brothers are I don't see uh, why I shouldn't watch the trailer. So it, maybe this is a good little, um, a good little, uh, dipping my toes, if you will. Dip, 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 dip the toe. <gasps> Back into the Christian movie scene and seeing what it's all about. So today I'm just going to take a look at a few trailers. I'm just looking at literally what it's recommending to me. And there's a Reagan movie starring, of course, Dennis Quaid and John Voight. You can't go wrong with that. A Ronald Reagan movie, what a time. And then there's, of course, a God's Not Dead movie, a fifth one coming. So there's a lot to lot to look at, a lot to talk about, and uh, I should really talk about it. But first, let's just go ahead and look at Jordy LaForge, the movie. The very first frame is Cameron Arnett, who also was an African-American man on Star Trek. What are the odds that I would make the joke about Jordy LaForge and then we would have Cameron Arnett, who I'm sure uh, has breakfast with Jordy LaForge constantly. Let's check out the movie, shall we? Sure. Whoa, here we go. Oh, oh, trailer for the trailer. Love it. Your grandfather drove this? My dad told me he was gonna fix it over me. This is the way he left it. Okay. Like everything else. You are my son, but I'm giving you one month to find a job, or you can find one of your little friends that's gonna let you sleep on their couch for free. I'm just trying to talk to a young lady right here. I need for you this to leave my shop. This is the fattest beat that's ever been in a Kendrick Brothers trailer. And I won't be back either. That's something right there your father would do. Well, I ain't him. You acting like him. That's the Boy. worst thing anybody could ever say to somebody. It's hard for a woman to call out the man and her son. I just need some prayer support. I'm just trying to see about a job, right? I ain't here about nothing. You what, you a salesman for this company? I'm the president. That's for more. I like Cameron Arnett. He's a nice guy. Genuine fella. A big part of becoming a man is showing up. Can you do that, Isaiah? Yeah. All these promises. Oh, Lord! When my sister tells me that she needs prayer support, uh -huh. honey, I bring prayer support. Am I in the right place? Miss Clara! No way. No way! Isn't that, that's the lady from so War Room then? himself the way that the Lord sees him. You're 50 minutes <laughs> Miss Clara's it's like, now you look exactly like somebody else that I know, but uh, you couldn't be her. She just constantly is helping out women who look like Priscilla Shire. The Lord has called me to help out anybody who looks like Priscilla Shire. That's what I've been called to do, and you know what? I will do it until the day that I die. Probably something that's going to happen in this movie, I'm sure. I want to introduce you to a small group of men that mean the world to me. We grow together, we eat together. It's one of the most important things I've ever done in my life. God has forgiven me so much. Who was I to refuse to forgive? Okay, Jesus, I could give it to you. Always Kendrick Brothers movie, you gotta have somebody kneeling down on a piece of furniture praying in an awkward way. And what do you want people to think when they see you coming? We only got six of us, seven including Emmett. I'm willing to go to second mile. We can't just walk out and do nothing. Let's roll. If I may be blunt. A man stands in front of me. Isaiah. Ah. 
Welcome to the Forge. Oh, good. Uh, that's perfect, because then you can have merch. Now, that is good. Miss Claire, I need you to come by here more often. Mm hmm Keisha needs you. <laughs> Oh, cool. Got some stereotypes in there, but you know what? That's something our country kind of needs, isn't it? We need some stereotypes. <laughs> they're just, uh, they're not embraced in movies like they used to be. Um, uh, I mean, uh, this certainly looks like the typical Kendrick Brothers movie. It looks like kind of they've taken, they like, they've had a few uh, misses. I'm sure they got together in some sort of meeting room and they were like, all right, guys, uh, we've got to figure out how to do it again. What's the things that have worked financially in the past? An action item, building a war room, reading the love dare, raise your son, you know, like be a dad, you know, what an action item that is. This kind of has those action items. The best type of action item also has some sort of physical item, uh, merch, if you will. So like a sword or something. You have kind of the multiple storylines going on all at once. It really feels like a, an amalgamation of every Kendrick Brothers movie that has been made and everything that has worked financially all put together. There was a time I feel when I was reviewing movies where, where there was concern about, is there any way we can make movies more like movies instead of making them like cheesy Kendrick Brothers movies? And I think that they've given up on that. And, and they said, well, financially, it's better for us to hit the audience with what they want, which is, uh, well, this, a super hokey looking movie, going back to basics, I guess going back to what sells. And so hopefully what I'm hoping is when this movie comes out, August 23rd, makes them a ton of money. That's the hope and dream. And uh, and that's really all you could uh, ever hope for when it comes to making a Christian movie. All right, if I wanted to give my less cynical view on this. Obviously more money means more people watched it. And I think that for the Kendrick brothers themselves, they're thinking like, you know, if people aren't watching the movies, then the message isn't getting out. And we really want the message to get out. Of course, it's a movie that is telling people, you know, you gotta get out there and be a man. Is it a time when we need to be telling people to be men? It certainly seems to be the, the big divide in our uh, society when I'm recording this we have a, a, a moment in time when we have Joe Biden who recently dropped out I saw a lot of people talking about wow what a brave amazing person to give up and drop out of the race for the sake of of an African-American woman getting to be president or getting a chance to be president and then we've got people who are like look at this man who who will not give up even though you have it seems the a large system desiring for him to give up and drop out, who after bullets fly at him, uh, stands up and raises his fist in the air and says, fight his supporters, praising him. Look, look at this manliness that despite what you think about the politics of it, there really, it does seem to be a divide in our country about um, what being a man really is. Defining masculinity. These are important topics in our country right now. We all saw our friends arguing and acting like experts on the topic on Twitter. So this movie is pretty topical, and I don't think that's going away anytime soon. To give this movie the most benefit of the doubt, I would say that I'm looking at a movie that is looking to search that question of what does it really mean to be a man? And I know the Kendrick brothers, I think really feel like being a man is seeking God. Honestly, if you're looking to watch a cheesy Christian movie and you like that kind of thing, this is the movie to go see. If at this point you're like, I've seen all their movies and I don't like them. This probably isn't the movie for you. That's my guess from the trailer. There you go. Uh, stick around because I'm going to take a look at a few other movies, starting with um, the next God's Not Dead movie, maybe the uh, Ronald Reagan movie with Dennis Quaid. I'll do that in the next videos that I make, I think. Will be the best choice I've ever made in my life. And we'll see where things go from there. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And if you like this video, hit that like and the subscribe button and, and let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below and I'll be sure to read it. I, uh, I actually always read the comments, if you can even believe it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hey, what makes a man? Is it the power in his hands? Is it his quest for glory? Give it all you got to, to fight to the top, so we can